People across Northeast Ohio have been keeping an eye on the sky and on the waterways today, but possibly none more than those in Lake County. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska spent the day along the Chagrin River. And Paul, there were some pretty tense moments there. Boy, for December, this is some early ice buildup. They usually see this later in the winter, but around 2 o'clock tonight, major ice jam here on the Chagrin uh, River from Willoughby out here to East Lake. Then it just started flowing out to Lake Erie. That was really good news. Here's a live look right now. A lot of the ice has already flowed out to the lake. This is a, a sigh of relief for people here because they didn't want this ice to stay jammed up and then get that heavy rain that Mark's been talking about. This stretch of the Chagrin River in East Lake looks calm, but upstream in Willoughby Hills, the ice was building, so was concern over flooding. It happens to us, you know, once a year. Rodney Gardner moved what he could to higher ground, then drove to the river to see the ice jam. Well, everybody's got their eye on it now because we're expecting the rains to come in heavier tomorrow. So, I live on King and Everybody's got their eye on it down there. City workers rush to clear catch basins before the heavy rain hits this weekend. East Lake Fire Chief Ted Whittington doesn't expect major flooding, but just in case, he's advising residents to move items in the basement or a garage to higher ground. You know, at this time of year, any time of year, when you get that much rain, there's a potential for basements to get affected. And, you know, a lot of the residents in this community are still, you know, recovering from the floods we had during the summer. By afternoon, the ice jam broke free and started flowing out to Lake Erie. Everyone watching breathed a sigh of relief. So everything's flowing well, and it's the first step. You know, we're still concerned about the three inches of rain we're supposed to get tomorrow, but this here has helped us uh, immensely. We've been here eight years, never had a drop of water inside the restaurant. The river runs right by Trader Jack's restaurant on Lakeshore Boulevard, where everyone's holiday wish is the same for this ice flow to keep moving before the heavy rain hits. This weekend, we got a busy weekend planned, so uh, sometimes it's fun just to even watch uh, the water, you know. Go oh, by. Hopefully, you know, nobody gets flooded out. But by four o'clock today, the ice flow came to a grinding halt. All right, but back live within the last hour, the ice flow moving again out to the lake. You know, you saw those city workers in East Lake cleaning out the drains and the catch basins. They're advising residents from here out to Mentor do the same thing with drains on your private property. Get those leaves out of there so the, all this rain that's coming gets uh, to drain. And then I talked with the Valley View Fire Department over there. They're not, they're not really concerned. They said flood stage seven feet. They see it peaking there in the Cuyahoga at 15.2 noon on Sunday. But this is a developing situation with the changing weather. Live at East Lake, Paul Kiska on the Chagrin River. Paul, thank you. Well, even if you don't live in a flood prone area, you may still come across flood waters while driving around this weekend. Remember, don't drive around barricades. There is a chance the road or bridge may be washed out. Even if the water appears shallow enough to cross, don't try it. Water can be deeper in dips in the road. And if your car stalls in water, get out of the car, move to higher ground. Stay with News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com through the weekend for the latest on the rain and any flooding in our area.